Well, keeping the daylight reviews rolling, let's look at Ejector right here. Uh, he little guy, I don't have too many of the scouts from the new movie line, but this guy, you almost have to get him. Um, really is a neat little thing, even got the little, uh, even got the power plug in the end of it. And really pretty neat. I mean, there's not much you can do about all the panels because, you know, he's got to transform some sort of way. At least they didn't make him a shell farmer. Uh, this side right over here is just pretty plain. But this side they have the, you know, like how burnt do you want your toast knob. And I guess the light up, hey, it's on. Um, there's not really anything like showing where you'd like press down the little lever to make your toast, but hey, it's a little bitty guy, so I can deal with it. Now, if there would have been a leader class ejector, you know, that would have been unexcusable that that was absent. In fact, if there was a leader class ejector, I want it to toast toast. But anyway, uh, moving on, uh, not that hard to transform from toaster to robot. Just gonna take and flip this up right here, move it out the way, and this right here, this side, just push that up on top, split it, and just kind of wiggle everything loose. If this gives me any trouble, okay. Next part you have to do is this piece right here, rotate that like that, and now. You can split this and you can see the face right there. So once you get it to that point, you can take the back piece, flip it back up like it was before, flip the feet down, rotate them at below the knee, and just put the little feet down like that. Um, the arms, I really like the arms on this kit. It. This figure, thank you, Josh. Um, to transform the arms, you got to do in this order flip these down, flip this up, flip this out, and close this back. He's got four hands, and it really is done well. Uh, these outer arms can really only go in one motion, but these, the lower, the inner arms or however you want to refer to them actually have a ball joint and the little claw is posable. The thumb stays put and you can move the rest of the fingers all as a group. Uh, let me just go ahead and do the other arm. So really there he is and I was gonna get this guy just because you know I'm kind of trying to take a break from Transformers but Look at this guy's face. That is the most demented looking face I've ever seen on a Transformer. I mean, it's just, I don't know if this is really coming through on here, but in person is just disgustingly cute. And that's the best way I can describe it. It's just, it's like, I don't know, it's... It, I need to find this guy's tech specs because, uh, like I said, the guy looks demented. And here's his tech specs. He doesn't have a single thing. He, well, he only has one thing above a five, and that's his courage. His intelligence is a one. Rank is a, uh, it, this is one dumb as a brick little guy. Um, and actually, the uh, the face on the package looks even more demented than this does and I really don't know what the difference is I think that's what it is on this one the face is painted silver on this one it's just gray plastic but uh, really very neat figure um, what I like to do with him is have him hold his electric cord like it would be like a taser or something just that little bit extra of craziness. Um, really, like I said, the arms have decent posability. You got ball jointed el uh, elbow, shoulders, 
uh, with the rotator so you can get it into you know pretty much any pose that you want within reason for a scout he can come back and just about touch his own shoulder um, it shows on the package the face right here oops yeah uh, the ball joints on the shoulders are a little weak that's the only really bad thing about this guy uh, the head up like that and I don't know that's just too much mouth so flip that back down around and he I mean he looks like a little metal troll and I like that um, I said, still fairly poseable, not fantastic, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, let's go ahead and transform this guy back, only because he comes in robot mode, and I had trouble the first time because I didn't know this pivoted out. So once you get that done, you can pretty much just walk through transforming this guy. Once again, you've got to do this in this order. Uh, close the hand in on itself. Fold it away. There's a notch right there that the thumb goes into. Then close that and shut that. It's exactly the opposite of how you had to do to take it out. But it only goes together one way. Uh, now that you got that together, you're just going to go ahead and take and rotate the, sh the arms up and they just ever so gingerly clip together like that sort of next thing you're going to do is take the head and rotate it down to where he's looking directly at his lower jaw and then rotate the arms off of their ball joints excuse me one second now like I was saying you'll take the arms and rotate them pressing right here instead of right here rotate them down into the front next thing you can do is just take and lay that back down rotate the lower legs again take the feetses and flip them up to right there and then take all this section and just rotate it underneath the toaster and that brings up an interesting thought I had earlier. Thank God this is made by Transformers and not GoBots. Because, you know, this guy's name is Ejector. Uh, if it was a GoBot, you know this thing would be named Toast Or. Anyway, uh, that's the biggest knock I have against GoBots is the naming system. Leader One! Uh, I guess you're the flunky. Psy kill Let me guess. You turn into a Humvee. Anyway, um, back to topic. Uh, really is a neat looking little thing. Um, so, if you're going to get a scout class, you can get this one and not feel like you're getting rooked, I would think. So, y'all have a wonderful, splendiferous day. I think that's the word.